Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Grey Hair Diva, and this is your first time welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on Latasha Scott, um, one of the members or former members of the group Escape. Who's in that group? Uh, her own sister is a member of the group. Um, Tiny, T.I.'s wife, is a member of the group. And Candy Burris, where most people probably know her now from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, is in that group. So pretty much she's screaming and crying every chance she can get over foul play, how the group has done her dirty, how she is the voice of the group. And the most recent debacle happened when they was being honored at an award show and everybody got the memo to wear a certain color dress. She did not get the memo, showed up in a different color. And actually, if you ask me, she slayed the girls, okay? Slayed them down. When you look at that picture of all of them, the group escaped together. Um, She stands out, Latasha, like, and she looked amazing in her dress. But they, they, the team is like Latasha against them. And it's been all of these jabs that have been coming out about did you get the memo? You didn't get the memo. Oh, you think you the leader of the group? So forth and so on, right? And she's screaming foul play. Before I get into the rest of my commentary, let, let's just hear one of her rebuttals that she did on her Instagram in regards to, you know, the fighting that's going on once the group escape, right? So let's hear this. Let me just turn this up real quick, and I'm going to play this for you. People think that you're going to remain silent. And they're betting on your silence, hoping that you'll go along to get along. But they don't understand that they've pushed you too far. That there's another side of me that I try to keep in submission. But you tried to play me one too many times. God, y'all ain't helping me tonight. But, but God says, I need you to know your silent season is over. This year, I'm going to tell you how I really feel. This, this year is no holds barred. If you can't handle it, you might as well get out of my space because I'm tired of biting my tongue and I done ran out of cheeks to turn. So, that's her comeback. Let me say this. They're not the first group. And they won't be the last that has problems within the group. When you got all of this talent and a lot of personalities together. Listen, hey, there's some groups you can't even go to dinner together. And, and you're like, no, I don't want tacos tonight. I want uh, uh, this. I want Asian. I want Italian. Like, So do you think that a group that sings together is not going to have some issues? But if y'all all were smart, y'all would agree to disagree. And go out in the streets and make the money together. But since you can't, Latasha, you claim you are the voice of escape. You don't need to do all of these videos to prove to them that you're the girl. Get in that studio. Make a number one hit in an album. And let them girls know for real, I can do this without y'all. But instead, you're crying. Why? Because even you yourself feel... That you're nothing without escape, even though you're claiming that you are the voice. So, if you can go in history, groups break up. It is what it is. It happens. Listen, Michael Jackson left his own brothers and went solo. He came to the point where he knew, he knew, I'm the man. I'm the one. And that was his family. But he didn't sit around crying. He went out and made hit after hit. And prove to the world that out of the Jackson 5, he was the man. What are other groups that broke up? Remember that group, Brownstone? Similar, you know, beefs, but they broke up. The group Jade. And I'm going back to my time, some groups here. Total. There was a group called Color Me Bad. Listen, Destiny's Child, Beyonce left. Drew Hill. Tony, Tony, Tone. 
Jodeci in Vogue, SWV. Groups break up, Latasha. If you are the voice, you're that girl, you're that chick. You don't have to sit around and, 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 and do Instagram videos saying you tired of turning the other cheek. You going to speak your truth. Um, more is going on in this situation. Listen, there was a situation with the Dino Ross and the Supremes. Stuff happens in groups. Groups break up. And there's always a person in the group. There's a lot of people. Listen, people said um, that other sung better than Diana Ross. But that's not what wins in these streets when it comes to this music game. It's not just if you can sing. It's do you have the personality that's going to sell the music? Do you have the look? Are you a triple threat? Uh, can you do this on your own and people identify and connect with you outside of the group? Not too many people can do it. Bobby Brown was able to do it. Okay, he was able to step out of the group. Um, there's several others, but it's not too many. People think when they're in the group, like, you know what? I'm that person. I'm that chick. I'm that guy. I'm holding this group together. But then they find out when they go solo, don't nobody want to hear from them, even if they were the voice. They want to hear from the person that they connect with most, voice or not. There's a lot of people that sing better than others and those people are sitting home with their wonderful, amazing voice and the others are prospering in the world and making music, making money and making dollars. So what is my suggestion to Latasha Scott? Instead of her, you know, doing these very animated, I enjoyed the video on her Instagram, right? Um, instead of her doing these very animated um, videos, um, clapping back, so to speak. Instead of her worrying about if she got the memo about, you know, the wardrobe for the day of the war show or not, go in that studio, bust that studio down, make your music, and show the world by your work that you do, that you're that chick, you're that girl, and then have Candy and Tiny calling you once you got a number one record on the billboards or whatever the case may be, have them calling you asking you to come back. But right now you tapping on their door because to be truthfully honest, you have to. You can't do this without them. And you're proving that to them by instead of doing music and getting out there, you, you're doing this petty little beefing in the streets. I wouldn't, if I had the voice, if I was the voice and I knew that, I would be in the studio making music, putting my music out there, and that would be my aha to them. So listen, guys, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you were Latasha Scott, what would you be doing at this moment? Would you be wasting your time and your energy trying to prove that these girls are doing you dirty? I'm not shocked. It, it, I, I Listen, Natasha, if you want to say, it, it, I believe you. I believe they're doing you dirty, but does that really matter? Get a mic, get a producer, and do your music. Guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. The question of the day is, if you was in Latasha's ear, what would you tell her as a friend? As, a, as somebody on the outside looking in, would you not say, girl, get in that studio. Don't worry about them. Girl, you look cute, even though you didn't get the memo. Your dress was everything. Girl, get therapy. Because you are so dog angry, pissed at them, that you're not even uh, utilizing the God-given talent that you was given. That many people don't have. Take a couple of dance classes. I don't know if she could dance or not, so I'm not trying to shade her. I'm just trying to, you know, give her advice. Take a couple of dance classes. Uh, uh, give with a vocal coach. And not because she can't sing, guys, because you can always perfect your craft, right? Give with a vocal coach. Find these young people out here that's writing these good uh, uh, number one songs. 
and the, how you always win, get a Cardi B or somebody who's popular at the moment once you create your song um, to do the remix and, and throw a little verse in there and the thing goes viral. That's my advice for her. Guys, chat with me in the comments and I'll chat back. Um, don't, um, don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.